Today we will be simplifying exponential expressions using the law of exponents. So please write this down in your notes in your spiral or agenda book. You may ask the substitute to pause as needed by simply raising your hand and asking him or her to pause the video. Our first example that we're going to look at is 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 3rd. And remember, we talked about this yesterday. That means 2 to the 3rd power times 2 to the 4th power times 2 to the 3rd power. And if I write this out, it would look like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 to the third, which would be 2 times 2 times 2. Now I could multiply it out, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, get my answer, but our goal is to simplify the expressions. So our, another way to write this would be 2 to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh power. Our second example is negative 3. Remember that's in parentheses, so that means I want negative 3 to the third power. And that would look like negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And since these two are side by side, that means to multiply negative 3 to the second power. So that would be negative 3 times negative 3. And I could multiply that out to get an answer, but again, our goal is to simplify the expression. So another way to write negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 3 to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth power. And our last example looks like this one. And this would be m to the second times p to the second times m to the third times p. So the first thing I'm going to write is m times m for m to the second, and since they're side by side, that means to multiply. p to the second means p times p times m to the third, m times m times m, and then this p, remember, does not mean p to the zero, it means p to the one. We just don't put a one there, times p. So up here, I see one, two, 3, 4, 5 m. So that means m times m times m times m times m. So that's written as m to the fifth power times 1, 2, 3 p's. So that would be p to the third power. An invisible multiplication would have us write it like this m to the fifth, p to the third. Now, hopefully, you've picked up on a faster way than writing it out like that. But if you need to write it out like that, you're allowed to today. So I see that I had 2, my base was 2, my power or exponent is 4, my base is 2, my power or exponent is 3. And for my simplified, my base is still 2, but this time my power or exponent is 7. And hopefully you've guessed by now that all I had to do was take the base, the first power, plus the second power, which gives me 2 to the seventh power. For the second one, my base is negative 3, my first power is to the 3, my second power is to the power of 2, so negative 3 to the 3 plus 2 gives me negative 3 to the fifth. And if I want to, I can put that negative 3 in parentheses so that I know it means negative 3 and not negative of 3 to the 5th. And then the last one, I see m to the 2, same base, same base, so I want m to the 2 plus 3, those are the two exponents for the m's, and then I had p, same base, to the 2 plus the 1 that I put in there. And when I simplify that, I get m to the fifth, p to the third. Sorry, guys, I started to write fourth. And that is the simplified answer. 
and that's how we simplify when we're multiplying a power to the power with the same bases. Now we're going to do a power divided by a power. And remember, if you need the substitute to pause this, ask them to. So here's our first example I want you to write down. 9 to the 5th divided by 9 to the 2nd power. 9 to the 5th looks like this. 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. Remember, this bar means divided by 9 to the 2nd power, which would be 9 times 9 only. Now, if I want to simplify this, I have 9 divided by 9, which does not give me 0, it gives me 1. 9 divided by 9, which gives me 1. So now I have 1 times 1 times 9 times 9 times 9. Or anything times 1 is itself. So I'm left with 9 times 9 times 9, which would be 9 to the third power, because we want to just simplify. If I wanted you to evaluate, you tell me what 9 times 9 times 9 is. Here's our second, so this is it simplified. Oh, I lost my pen. So here's my second example. Write it down. And again, if you need the sub to pause it up, you may. So this one would look like z to the 8, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 z's, all divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oops, too many. Sorry guys, I was getting so excited, I was so good at it. And z, if I need to, I can put these in so you know they're not twos. My z's sometimes tend to look like twos. If I do z divided by z, anything divided by itself always gives us 1. So that becomes a 1, that becomes a 1, that becomes a 1, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 1, and this becomes a 1. And anything times 1 is itself, so I'm left with z times z, which is simply z to the second power. Our third example is, has some numbers here. So I'm going to break it up. I've got my 12 on top, and I'm going to put x to the 4, that means x times x times x times x, y to the 5th, y times y times y times y times y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and remember that's times, invisible multiplication when they're side by side, and that's also times. Negative 2 underneath, x, remember that means x to the 1, so that just means 1x, y to the 3, 1, 2, 3, and that's being divided by. Well, 12 divided by negative 2 is simply negative 6. x divided by x is 1. I don't have any other x's to cross off. y divided by y, if I would have lined that up, is 1. y divided by y is 1. y divided by y is 1. So I'm left with x times x, which is x to the second power, y times y, which is y to the second power. Hopefully you've said, I notice a pattern. Oops, sorry guys, my hand's touching. That happens sometimes. Hopefully now you said you noticed a pattern here. So I had same base, 9 and 9. This one was to the power of 5. This one was to the power of 2. And I ended up with 9 to the power of 3. You guessed it. This time I did the power minus the power, which gave me, oops, sorry guys, that's 2, 5 minus 2 which gives me 9 to the 3. And I've had kids in the past say to me, oh, a division sign kind of looks like a minus sign. And I said, you're right, it sure does. Oh, guys, I'm sorry, you may not be able to see that. Let me write this down further, now that I'm looking at my camera. 9 to the 5 
minus the power of 2 gives me 9 to the third power. And hopefully I think you can see that one, 9 to the 3. For this one, same base, z and z, my top power, or exponent, was 8, my bottom one was 6. So to get that 2, I had to do 8 minus 6, which equals z to the 2, which is what I got when I did it the longer way. And the last one, these are not the same base, so I really had to divide these two. 12 divided by negative 2, which gives me negative 6. x to the fourth, same base, same base. So x to the 4 minus 1, same base, y, y. Its power is 5, 3. So y to the 5 minus 3. Negative 6 simplifies down to negative 6. x, 4 minus 1, which is 3. y, 5 minus 3, which is 2. Same answer as I got up top, just another way to do it. So today you get to decide, are you going to write it out long ways or the short ways? So what I want you to do is keep your notes on top of your desk, take your board out from behind you, your marker, and your eraser, and if the substitute needs to, they will pause up this video for you, and we're going to do some practice ones. Here is your first one. It is f to the 7 times f to the 6. Go ahead, write it on your board. Simplify that expression for me. Hopefully you did one of the two things. You wrote out f seven times, and then six times, which gave you f to the 13. Or you simply did f, same base, power plus the power. 7 plus 6, which gives me f to the 13. This is the way you show your work, by either writing out all the f's or writing f to the power of 7 plus 6 equals f to the 13, so I can see your work. Here's your second example. Wipe your boards off. Write on your board w to the 8 divided by w to the 6. Simplify it on your board, please. Hopefully you did one of the two things, W times W, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all divided by W to the 6, simplify, W divided by W is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, which leaves us with W to the second power. Or you did same base, so W, power of 8 to power of 6. Since we're dividing, numbers get smaller. I want to subtract them. Numbers get smaller, and we end up with W to the 2. Either way you want, but I want to see that work. I don't want to just see a W to the second power on your board. Here's your third one to write down. 3 squared times 3 to the 8th power.
Hopefully you've written one of the two things on your board. Three times three for three squared. Three to the eighth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three to the tenth power. Or you did same basis. 3 to the 2 plus 8, because when I multiply, my numbers get bigger, so my power needs to get bigger, which gives me 3 to the 10. Wipe your boards off. Here's your fourth example. Hopefully you did it one of two ways. Five to the seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. All divided by five to the fourth. One, two, three, four. Five divided by five gives me one. Five divided by five gives me one. Five divided by five gives me one. And five divided by five gives me one which leaves me with 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 to the third. Or you did it this way, same base, so you write your base, power is 7, power is 4, when I divide my number gets smaller, so I have to subtract these two. 7 minus 4 gives me 5 to the power of 3. Go ahead and wipe your boards off. Two more to go. These two are going to get a little bit trickier. And I am going to switch you over because I want you guys to be able to see this. So I'm going to slide it down. So this one is 2 to the 2 times n to the 5th power times 5 n to the 3rd power. Go ahead and write it on your board and simplify it and let's see how you do. Alright, let's see how you did. Hopefully, if you did it this way, you wrote out 2 times n times n. We need n to the fifth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 5 times n to the third. So I've got a 2 here, and I've got a times 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ends. So that gives me 10 n to the 8th. Or you did it the other way. You saw a 2 and you saw a 5. And you said, those aren't the same base, so I can't add my exponents. So instead, I'm going to do 2 times 5, which gives me 10. And n to the n, which are the same base, so n, 5, n to the fifth times n to the three, that would give me a bigger number. So instead of multiplying the exponents, I add them and I end up with 10 n to the eighth. Same answer, different ways to get it. Wipe off your boards, here's your last one. 